I'm Jake with 10Cut10, and today we're going to talk about internal geometry considerations. So let's start by talking about what an internal geometry is. So on a part, anything that's inside of the outer shape, it's like holes or slots in our design, and then also anything that's webbed in, like these, are going to be internal geometries that we're going to be talking about today. As a general rule, we like to stay 50% of the material thickness for internal geometries. So let's look at a quick example. We have a material thickness of 100,000. Our internal geometry, say a hole, can be no smaller than 50,000th of an inch in diameter. So different materials, thicknesses, and manufacturing methods change the size of internal geometry that you can use when designing. So let's look at two examples and compare them. So the two materials that we're gonna compare is a 5052 aluminum at an eighth inch thick cut on the fiber laser. And the second is an ABS at a quarter inch thick cut on the CNC router. So if we go to the material guidelines on the website and look at 5052 aluminum, we're gonna see a minimum hole size of 0.044 inches in diameter. While if we look at the ABS on the website, we're gonna see a minimum hole size of an eighth of an inch in diameter. That's a large difference that should be considered. When considering the bridge thickness, if we look at the 5052 aluminum on the website, we're gonna see a minimum bridge thickness of 0.048 inches. But when looking at the ABS at a quarter of an inch thick, we have a minimum bridge thickness of also a quarter of an inch. Additional things to consider when doing internal geometry on your parts is that excessive internal geometry or removing a lot of material can cause the parts to warp and be fragile in post-production making the parts unusable. Also, excessive internal geometry can cause us not to be able to do a post-process on your part. So even though it qualifies for our initial checks, we won't be able to deburr your parts in the end. All of these max and min values can be found in the design considerations on the material side of our website. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.